Running through a list of my insecurities And I fell asleep halfway through Then I woke up with a sense of clarity I can never be the one for you hey. Cause I challenge right here on 2k tv team cash versus team troy down i was drafted to team cash you already know what that means we're going to take the w in a best of three series we have a big time matchup with the big men down low tonight from the tip it was clear that everyone was nice on the sticks and this was going to be an epic heated battle go, Get on me. Go, cash. there you go and in the locker room each guy has been going over and through his own routine to get ready. But once they take the floor, they're one single unit. The friendship torch in the foreground and the Tower of the Americas behind it. Two of the signature sites here in San Antonio, Texas. Hello and thanks for joining us on Noche La NBA, the NBA's celebration of Latin heritage, both among its players and fans. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Well, guys, we know Russell Westbrook is fearless on the court and with his sense of fashion. Growing up around Los Angeles, he said, I felt like every day was the first day of school. That's how it was the minute I woke up. And guys, he's starting to release his own lines of clothing and accessories. I have a couple in my closet. Back to you. Influential with his taste for sure, David. Thank you. Now we have a moment to look at how the blocks have been stacking up over the past several months for Aldridge. We're just not seeing that same fierceness out of him defensively these last few months. He's lost a little bit of that intimidation factor. He's not blocking as many shots, and he's not making the same impact on that end of the floor. And the Houston Rockets starting five. Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. Robert Covington out there with P.J. Tucker. And it's House in at the three, the small forward. And for the Spurs, DeRozan out there with Trey Lyles. Then there's Murray. Then there's LaMarcus Aldridge. And it's Forbes in at the two. And the Spurs, I've heard it said, the most process-oriented 
team in the league. Well, that's an understanding of what it takes for them as a small market team to be successful. A good assessment of what they have to do as the San Antonio Spurs to be good. Scouting, coaching, chemistry, all part of that. Murray, the pass to Alder. Spurs passing it around. And the rejection by Harden. And it's out of bounds. The Spurs able to retain possession here. to the paint. Here's Forbes, and the layup's good off the glass. Boy, Murray's court vision, very sharp, and he's unselfish, too. You love seeing that combination. Here's Westbrook. Here's House. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. You've got to box out on the boards. When you don't, that's what happens. Pass to DeRozan. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. You look at DeMar DeRozan, and he's tough to stop inside, really in his comfort zone in there. Shot on the wing. Count that one. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes, a sign of a skilled offensive player. Spurs have gone 2 or 3 here to start out the game. The pass to Aldridge. Boy, the Spurs really like running through LaMarcus Aldridge in the post. I mean, that's an effective way to play offense, especially early before the defense gets set. He gets that deep position, and he puts a lot of pressure on the defense. San Antonio shooting their first free throws of the game. And, and when you got a team percentage of about 81%, uh, you're going to be one of the elites in this league. Take a break. One of the things take they've done, guys, is taken pride in their free throw shooting this season, and rightfully so. That free throw good from Aldridge. Yeah, you know, players like Aldridge are a little bit of a uh, diminishing breed in the NBA, a master in the low post with all sorts of ways to score in the paint. He's off on the second. For Houston, they've gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Here's Westbrook, and Westbrook throws it down. Man, I tell you what, one of the things I love about Westbrook is the ferocity with which he attacks the rack. When he's driving inside, he's trying to punish the defender and the basket. And with his skill level, sometimes the sheer strength and size of Aldridge goes overlooked. Yeah, and he's not afraid or um, hesitant to play bully ball. I mean, on that block, he gets that body into you and leans into that sweet jump shot of his, and he can make you look bad. And Westbrook. Oh, that was worth Whoa. the price of admission. And you know Westbrook has an outstanding vertical. Once he gets to the launching pad, rim, beware. Now here's Murray. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10.5 points a game. Good for the basket, starting off one for one with that shot. Only one miss in the first five attempts, clearly feeling. Here's Westbrook and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on DeRozan. And Russell Westbrook is as explosive a guard as we've seen in the history of the game. An incredibly gifted scorer who can also punch it on you. He misses the free throw. Mark, some of those lottery-bound teams now giving more minutes to their younger players, developing them, looking into the future, which means more veterans, unfortunately, will have to sit and watch. And, you know, I always say this, and it's much easier said than done, but you're a professional, whether you're in the rotation, a young player or an old player, you have to approach it in a professional manner. And that means accepting the good with the bad, the sweet with the bitter, and that takes a maturity level. And, you know, when the trade deadline is behind you, uh, 
You only can control what you can control, and that's what veterans should be about. And hopefully the coach communicates the ideas behind the move, too. I like that, but there's no obligation to do right, so. Right, right. <laughs> Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. And DeRozan kicks to Aldridge. No good off the back of the rim. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. A nice shot by Tucker. Yeah, you know, we've seen Tucker extend his range over the years, but it's still not that extended. I mean, this in-between area is probably more his natural comfort zone. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Here's Murray. Five to shoot. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. Aldridge, wide open, he fires, sinks the triple. Aldridge has got six. Boy, that's a lost possession if Aldridge doesn't bail him out. Smart play by the big fella with the shot clock winding down. Wasted no time on that one. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Forbes can't get it to go. Rockets leading by three. Here's Westbrook. Covington trying to break free. A shot's good from Westbrook. 11 points in the game. And it's the fearlessness of Westbrook. It's really refreshing to watch. When he's deep inside, he just goes right at you. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Well, I think he did plenty of damage nonetheless. I mean, it was only with one hand, but he still threw that down pretty hard. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Rockets. That one was played down in Houston. And they lost a close one last time they saw each other. And, and you have to think that it was the foul trouble that really kept them from getting the win. And, you know, as you said, Greg, when you are in foul trouble, it makes you less aggressive defensively. And when that's the case, it's hard to offer the kind of resistance that you need to. That was in the back of the mind, the foul trouble they were in. chance to check out the stats for Russell Westbrook. An amazing run for him the second half of the season. He's right around 29 points a night. Eight rebounds and five assists. And he's very steady with that second unit. Running the offense and getting them into their sets. Right. I mean, your backup point guard simply has to hold the fort. Maintain the status quo. Share the basketball and minimize mistakes. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Well, I like the way he capped off that drive. The one-hand hole punch. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Murray, good. You know, that's a veteran play. DeRozan stays open to all possibilities. That's seeing the game in front of you. Excellent find. And the shot goes down. And that's now six points for James Harden. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. Quality looks they're getting, and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offensively. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. And Houston again with the bucket. And, you know, if you give Harden daylight to shoot from the mid-range, he'll take it. Can't give him any room, mid-range or three, but mostly mid-range. Now here's Murray. He's got eight. And Forbes has it in the corner. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got three assists tonight. Like the assertiveness, and that comes from having the green light to shoot off the pass. And Forbes, one of the very best shooters off the pass or dribble. 
Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Here's Murray following the basket by Russell Westbrook. Pass to Lyles. Jacks up a three. Rebound by House. Rockets leading by eight. And Westbrook, here we go. And the shot is good. Westbrook's got 19 points. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. And, you know, when you've got a chance to put a team away early, you got to take it. Wide open look here for Murray. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. You know, he's got to be exasperated right now, fellas. I mean, playing excellent ball, but they're still losing. Harden, no good. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Throws and dishes to Murray. Aldrich kicks to Lyles. And he gets the jumper to drop. Boy, Aldrich commands so much defensive attention. There's bound to be somebody open on every possession. And this time, LaMarcus finds it. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. And Clark, ordinarily quiet by nature, LaMarcus Aldridge has become a more outspoken leader in recent years. Yeah, and that's a good sign. Sometimes you have to get out of your comfort zone for the good of the team. Aldridge is, by nature, a laid-back, quiet guy. And sometimes that can work against the team. But in his case, he realized that he needed to be more vocal and stepped into doing that. goes with a fresh five on the floor. Houston with a big group substitution here. Jeff Green, he's checked in for Robert Covington. McLemore has come in for Daniel House. Gordon's checked in for James Harden. And it's Austin Rivers in for Russell Westbrook. Punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. Hey guys, this is gonna be fun now. I mean, we've got ourselves a shootout on tap here. And here's Mills. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Dallas. Chalk up two there. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. And it's Gordon with the ball. He brings it up for Houston. Six-point game. And it's good. Two points. Rivers has got his second basket of the game. San Antonio's gone two of four from beyond the arc to start the game. Now here's Mills. He's guarded by Rivers. Nice shot by Pirtle. Really amazing body control by Pirtle. Just taking the hit head on and finishing through the contact. I love it. Pulls up on the wing. And there's Green on the assist by Rivers. And the Rockets lead by eight. And now you can see the D having problems stopping the mid-range jumper. Just not really closing out as much as they need to. It's Gay with the drive. Makes it off the glass. Gay's athleticism makes him devastating on the drive. Gordon inside. White covering and the basket by Gordon. Not much resistance from the defense. Easy play that time for him. Mills looking it over. White, good. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. On the wing, and that one goes long. Tell you what, that is a missed opportunity for mid-range for sure. With as little defense as was shown, should have made that one. And, and guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed to create. Not at all. I mean, that's where they want him looking for a teammate, not trying to do it on his own. He needs to share the wealth there. So it's the Spurs now. The Rockets making the shot. Now Mills. No points in the game yet for him. 
And it's Houston on the break. Shoots from the baseline. A nice shot by Tucker. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for Houston. Boy, you have to admire their intensity in the paint defensively. I mean, really contesting and even blocking shots. Definitely a factor early. And the other thing that's been equally as effective is the fact that they've gotten out on the fast break. A lot of points coming in transition. Rivers can't get it to go. I think he'll think twice about attempting that shot next time. The defense was right on top of him there. And the jam by Rudy Gay. Yeah, you know, Mills is one of those energizing players who does a little bit of everything, including finding his open teammates. And Derek White picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Houston making a switch. Carroll's checked in. Here's McLemore and count it from 19 feet away. And the Rockets lead by eight. In the mid-range, rarely the hallmark of efficiency in today's NBA, but it is on point tonight. It sure is, Greg. It might be the strongest aspect of their offense here. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. Here's Rivers. Plays it up and in on the nice reverse. Rivers has got six. So it's the Spurs now. They want to keep it rolling here following the win against Dallas. And that one was all about offensive execution. Running your plays, picking your spots. Yeah, you know, not deviating from the game plan is critical. You've got to trust in the system. Lonnie Walker, he's checked in for San Antonio. And uh, 101 left to play here in the first. Just five to shoot. That three off the mark. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. From the baseline, again the Rockets score. From that in-between range, they've been the much better team. Well, when you knock down jumpers like that, it opens everything else up as well. Up again. No good on that one. So Houston will take it the other way. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing the last matchup with the Lakers. That one drops for him. Green's got his second basket of the night. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Well, everything's coming too easily. I mean, at some point, defensively, defensively you have to take something away. San Antonio shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. And so he hits the technical free throw. Yeah, you know, when I covered Gay when he was in college at UConn, he was an outstanding player in the Big East, and it was pretty clear he had a bright future in the NBA in front of him, too. Now here's Gay. Playing Dallas, he was nearly unstoppable. Carroll with it. Here's Green. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Green's got six displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with punt blazing. And so it's Houston looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. Right back after this break. And in 2018, DeMar DeRozan opened up about his battles with depression, hoping to have a positive impact on others. A lot of people shame to talk about it. Even myself, for a long period of time, people wonder why I was such a quiet guy. And that was part of it, not wanting to speak out about it, not wanting other people to know exactly what I was going through. But you get to a certain age where you feel like it's all about helping others. It's not about you just being a selfish person about the things you're going through, other people going through stuff as well. 
Yep, you love the honesty and the bravery to step forward and tell his emotional story. Yeah, he, he opened a dialogue. Kevin Love following his lead to talk about anxiety. Athletes as public figures can have a broader impact than just entertaining. And, and we see it over and over again. And Buenas Noches basketball fans, it's Latin night here on 2K Sports. And you might have noticed the custom jerseys worn by the players. And for the Rockets here, they've been putting on a show, guys. They came in on a mission, razor-sharp offense in that first period. Yeah, I agree. That was a flawless offensive performance so far. I mean, the shots have been falling. They're making good decisions. That's a nice recipe there. We've got Rudy Gay, who's out there with Bellinelli. Bertle is out there with White. And it's Walker in at the two-guard. So that's who San Antonio starts the second with. throw good from McLemore. Clark, we know you have great passion for the game of basketball. Any passions that our fans may not know about? Um, yeah, I enjoy golf. I'm a, an avid reader, as you well know, Kevin. We actually share book titles on occasion. Obviously, food is universal, and there's nothing I turn down. I try to eat certain things in moderation, um, but I enjoy board games, too. In terms of sports, I'm a fan of football, both college and pro. Enjoy playing golf and board games and reading probably are what occupy my time. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, my cousin LaMarcus Aldridge is not the flashiest player, but he is respected. His former teammate in Portland, C.J. McCollum, said he hasn't changed his game to try and fit the new NBA. He shoots mid-range, scores under the basket, strong as heck. He knows who he is. Kevin, LaMarcus isn't really my cousin, but his game never goes out of style. You're right, DA, and he is still getting it done. Thank you. And their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. Yeah, you said the key word there, balanced. I mean, their big lead owes as much to their defense as their offense. Gay and the jam by Rudy Gay. And when Pirtle sees a guy on his team open, he finds him right away whipping that pass there directly. Count the basket. Carroll's got four points this quarter. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And while we have a chance, how about the numbers for White? He's averaging 10 points a game, three assists, and three rebounds. The contributions he's been making on the floor have been a boon for this team. Great stretch of games for him. Yeah, you know, they've given him more responsibility, and he's responded. And the way he's going, I think his role is only going to Shooting increase. Two. No good on that one. A different look now for San Antonio. Marcus Aldridge has checked in for Pirtle. DeMar DeRozan comes in for Marco Bellinelli. And it's DeJounte Murray in for White. Houston also making some changes. Robert Covington's checked in for Green. Harden comes in for Ben McLemore. And Russell Westbrook subbed in for Rivers. He hits the second from the line. Well, you know, for so long, Mike D'Antoni has been a vanguard on NBA offense. His teams have always played great offense, moving, spacing, dynamic players. Um, defense has not been at the level of offense, but I think he's actually improved as a coach in that area as well. And Clark, part of it for Dan Tony is that he is delegating defensive duties. Yeah, and I like that, Kevin. He's made sure to have a defensive coordinator on his staff delegating that role and responsibility. Uh, he thinks and knows that his team is better off that way. A 
And Greg, when you're discussing and comparing James Harden and what he's done these last few years, we have to do it on a very historic level. He's going to go down as one of the best to ever play the game. Uh, his production is incredible, and the skill level really is groundbreaking. Easily the best off guard in the league. Covington, great positioning on the putback. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Passes it to Gay. For three, that's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%, five for seven. Here's Westbrook. Doesn't go for him. Murray with the defensive effort. Walker against Harden. For three, Murray. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Murray's got 13. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. Greg, that's three in a row from out there now, so they've got to do a better job contesting. DeRozan in the corner. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. Hey, watch out now, guys. When he's effective with that three-point shot, I really believe it adds to DeRozan's game, makes him more effective on his drive. Here's Harden. The baseline jumper goes down. 13 points in the game. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of it. Pass to Gay. Down low. Here's Aldridge. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. You know, with all his post moves, Aldridge usually is able to trick the defense, but even when he doesn't, he'll still manage to finish through contact. And Westbrook gets it to go. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they have. That one's in there. Pocket lead is cut back down to 14 after they get the hoop for Murray. Here's Covington. That one rolling around and rims out. And Murray's got the ball here for the Spurs. And the jam by Rudy Gay. You know, over the years, Gay has added a lot of different wrinkles to his offensive game. He's really now a very versatile scorer. Here's Harden. And the jam by Harden. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. San Antonio's gone four or six from long range in the second quarter. Solid shooting. Here's Murray. Gets it to go for bucket number eight. He's taken just ten shots. Boy, he's doing everything he can at this point. The rest of his teammates need to step up and give him some help. It puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, G.A. He really does put pressure on him. And you know, guys, showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense, they feed off of that energy and ability to make plays. It gets them going. Here's Walker. Shakes off the strong D and gets the bucket for two. Walker's got his second bucket tonight. Here's Westbrook. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. And the Rockets lead by 14. Man, you got to admire how easily Westbrook takes over games. I mean, an offensive juggernaut who is tenacious when it comes to scoring. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Here's Murray, and it's Murray with the jam. You know, Murray's game is about putting the ball on the floor, moving without it when he doesn't have it, and driving and keeping pressure on the defense. And he makes that one. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Now the pass to Aldridge. He kicks it to Walker. Takes the three. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. Really starting to find himself now, guys, after getting shut out in the first quarter. Here's Westbrook, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's going to be on Rudy Gay. 
Well, you, you knew after the Paul George trade that the Thunder would look to sell on Westbrook as well. Just part of the rebuild at this point. His agent did well to get him to a team looking to compete. A great fit for a player in this stage of Russ's career. Free throw good, Westbrook. Zone defense, Clark, being played now by a lot of teams. It's amazing that even with that, the point totals just continue to rise. And you know what? I attribute the point totals continuing to rise to a couple of things. One, the volume of three-point shots that are being taken. And I think teams are playing at a little faster pace universally. You don't see as much walking the ball up the floor as I think you may have seen in years past. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. Look at Robert Covington, really been a key contributor over the past month, third in blocks. And don't forget, top 20 in the league in rebounds per game. He's got a great nose for the ball. And you aren't top three in blocks unless you're committed to dominating in that category. His awareness and hustle is off the charts. Very impressive. Drains it from beyond the arc. And I like the way they're using the entire court here in the second quarter. The three-point percentage has gone through the roof. They get it back. Can't get it to fall. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Pass to Lyles. Here's the three. Here's Aldridge. He shoots over Tucker. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. How about that for the old up fake? Aldridge knows exactly how to get a defender off his feet. The Spurs shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. Timeout called the Rockets. Rockets call time. Ladies and gentlemen, dance team. You might have been wondering who the top scoring small forwards have been over the last 10 games. Wonder no more. Here's a peek. Fifth best, DeMar DeRozan. I mean, tremendously gifted Shoot athletically. Two. I mean, we're used to seeing that at that spot on the floor, and they pretty much all give astonishing individual performances on any given night. Well, we know the small forward spot is where the bulk of the scoring load rests on most teams. I mean, those players on that list always come through in the scoring department. These guys pack a lot of firepower. Yeah. 
And so LaMarcus Aldridge nails them both. Rockets leading by 10. And out of bounds as San Antonio gains possession. And here's what the Rockets' schedule looks like. On Sunday, they'll be facing Hassan Whiteside and the Portland Trailblazers. Then on Tuesday, they'll take on Kevin Love and the Cleveland Cavaliers. And for the matchup with the Bulls, that's going to be one where it would take a lot of errors and maybe a cold shooting night for things to go wrong. They just have that much of an advantage over that team. And DeRozan throws it down. You never have to worry about DeRozan going soft. I mean, when he gets inside, he's taking it strong to the rack. And that one's good. Westbrook. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Outside DeRozan. It's rebounded by Houston. Covington's got six rebounds now in the game. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, Greg, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and, and rough. But that's how you win games. Miles passes to Forbes. Knocked away. Stolen by Harden. And here we go. Harden heading to the hoop. And Harden continues to work on his defense. It is a work in progress, but showing a bit of an edge on this end of the floor now. I like it. Spurs trail by 14. Hills with it. Westbrook picks him up. DeRozan passes to Alden. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Well, I tell you what, you just cannot help but be in awe of the offensive dominance James Harden has had over the last few years. I mean, he's done so much for this team and done it with both his scoring and playmaking. For San Antonio, they have gone 5 of 7 from the free throw line in the game. First one falls for him. And when you look at usage rates, Harden is the offense for this team. Yeah, you look at Harden's numbers over the last few years, and it has been absolutely ridiculous what he's done. I mean, there's no player who's had a better three-year stretch in the history of the league. 30-plus points per game seasons the last few years, the near triple-double the year before. I mean, he's a marked man for every opponent, and he's still been able to put up these kinds of numbers. Absolutely amazing. Mark, you played the traditional power forward position in the NBA years you had back in the 80s at such a high level. Who's doing that right now? Tell you what, the power forward position has changed so much, Kevin. These four men now are not really the enforcing type physical guys that we saw in the 80s and even 90s. They're agile, they're rim protectors, they're shot makers from deep. And guys like Anthony Davis and Marcus Aldridge. Yes. Man, I tell you, Anthony Davis goes to the top of my list uh, in today's game. Blake Griffin, another one with Detroit. Yeah, good call. Checked in for LaMarcus Aldridge. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for DeRozan. And he's not been as efficient this month as he had been earlier. Take a look at his true shooting percentage, and it'll show that he's gone a little bit frosty 
Maybe tonight he can get that touch back. Forbes dishes to Mills. Back to Forbes. Passes it to Pirtle. Now here's Mills, guarded by Tucker. And Harden comes to help. Six to shoot. Spurs working the ball around now. Offensive rebound, Pirtle. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Big time props to Pirtle for getting big under the basket. Ripping away the rebound with absolute force. Well, the shot repertoire of Jakob Pertl, mostly 10 feet and in is his strength. He's an old school big man in every sense of the word, but efficient in what he does. Bellinelli, he's lane. checked in for DeMar DeRozan. One shot. And Clark at seven feet tall. Pirtle a live body in there. He's live and he's also no stiff, guys. Pirtle can catch and finish. He's active in defending. Gets off the ground quickly and easily. Um, I like his package as a big guy. And the dunk by Pirtle. Boy, Pirtle is a guy that plays with a lot of force. I mean, when he's near the basket, the defense better watch out for the dunk. Here's Harden and the jam by Harden. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. And hammering down the two-hand slam. Really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. And so it's Mills who will bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. They trail by 11. He can't get it to go. Great D that time from Green. Here's Tucker. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Tucker's got six. This is a difficult cover on the break. Tucker can beat you both squaring up and at the rim. There's 138 left to play in the first half. Now here's Mills. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. Outside, Bellinelli. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Bellinelli. Let's take a moment now, Kevin, to see how the Spurs are doing in the NBA statisticals currently. And, you know, going back to their turnovers, fewest in our league, that shows you the intelligence they play with. You have to beat them. They are not going to do it for you. White, he's checked in for San Antonio. And the Rockets making a change here as well. McLemore's checked in for James Harden. One twenty-one left in the first half of the game. Out to the wing. Mills passes to Pirtle. Kicks to Bellinelli. To the inside. It'll go. The Rocket lead is cut down now to just 11 on the basket from Patrick Mills. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Yeah, one of the things you like about Tucker, he's a stat sheet stuffer. He does a little bit of everything. That includes scoring. Pass to Pirtle. Now, here's Bellinelli. Not a lot of room. He sinks the 11-footer. Bellinelli's got his first bucket in this one. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. There's 39 seconds left in the first half. The pass to Lyles. Here's Bellinelli. His last outing, 16 points for him. He kicks it to Mills. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. You know what, guys? Honestly, I didn't think he'd win that battle. I mean, that's a lot of height to give up. Here's White. Offensive rebound, Pirtle. 
Up and in on the way up. Pirtle's got 11. And Pirtle has stick to itiveness on the offensive glass. He just throws himself in the mix to come up with those boards. Russell Westbrook has been leading the charge for the Houston Rockets. And his big game just keeps getting bigger. That quarter sees him get over 30 points. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. James, big first half for you. What was the most important thing that got you going? Uh, just uh, trying to be aggressive, trying to, trying to get out early and uh, give a little spark to my teammates. Um, you know, and, and they followed along. So, you know, it's just a matter of us not turning the ball over and getting stops. So far, so good. Thanks, James. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. It was all Russell Westbrook in the first quarter. He ended up with 33 points and one rebound. What do you think, Shaq, about the first half we saw from the Rockets? Well, they really dictated the pace of the game with their transition game. They got out on the break every chance they had, and the time they could push the tempo, they did. And a lot of times, it kept the defense scrambling like eggs with the cheese and apple juice. And over to Kenny. What did you think about the Spurs? Well, they're giving up too many high percentage looks, Ernie. They're not closing down the lane, and they're not going hard on the perimeter. That will get an L in any book. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. My brother. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Well, you look at Russell Westbrook in this game. He has been everywhere. In that first half, he was a hot knife, and the defense was butter. Sliced right through them. Well, you know what, guys? My question is this. Who's he going to posterize in this half? You know, we've already gotten a number of filthy dunks out of him. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Taking a look at the Rockets, Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. E.J. Tucker is out there with Robert Covington, and it's House in at the three spot. Unselfishness always admirable in a basketball player, and Covington consistent at giving it up when one of his teammates is open. To the wing right side, Latrey. The shot's good from Forbes. Forbes has got his third basket of the night right there. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Westbrook, no good. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just uh, against his constitution. And he uses the glass on the layup. Westbrook's got 35. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Tries again. It's rebounded by Houston. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. And, and they continue to come. Oh, what a play! Oh, my. Woo! <laughs> And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Boy, and I used to love going up and jamming it down like that, guys. Rockets leading by 11. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. Covington with the bucket. Man, I'm impressed by the level of concentration Covington has on these difficult finishes. I mean, in this league, you have to get used to making shots despite being bumped a little bit or being challenged at a high level. Westbrook against Murray. And there's a whistle. That goes on Daniel House. 
That'll be his second foul of the game. San Antonio making a switch here. Aldridge has checked in. Well, Marcus Aldridge. The dish to DeRozan. Shot clock at six. Good work there as it goes. DeRozan's got nine. You know, in these particular plays, guys, DeRozan really excellent at taking what he sees in these situations. Here's Tucker, and that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. DeRozan against Westbrook, and it's DeRozan missing. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. You know, Harden is a remarkable talent, especially offensively. A versatile scorer who really is unstoppable once he gets going. And here's DeRozan. Nine points in the game so far. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, Kevin, one of the things that teams are more aware of in the age of analytics is the importance of sleep. Those teams are making adjustments. Morning shoot-arounds have been moved in some cases to the afternoon or eliminated altogether. There are many fewer teams that are taking red-eye flights across country. Some teams even give players orange-tinted glasses to encourage them to sleep. There's a lot of work to be done in this field, but the direction is clear. Continuing to evolve. All right, David, thank you. Aston Murray. Right Knocks it loose. Westbrook with the steal. Here's Covington. Good. A nice assist from Westbrook. Covington's got six points in the quarter. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And the level of detail that Robert Covington approaches defense with is just phenomenal. He is always prepared for his matchup. Yeah, and that's why he's an outstanding defender, Kevin, because he's got the physical attributes. He's got excellent speed and quickness for a guy of his size, out, good length out. and strength, outstanding hands. But he does a nice job of studying his opponent and what he needs to do to be effective defensively. I think he's one of the better defenders in the game and on the wing. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. It's common to see wing players improve their perimeter shooting in the league, but DeMar DeRozan's most striking growth has been his ball handling and playmaking. He's been dynamic with the ball in his hands. Rudy Gaze checked in for San Antonio. Lonnie Walker comes in for Brent Forbes. Tamari Carroll's checked in for the Rockets. Gordon comes in for Daniel House. And Greg DeRozan watching a ton of films of guys like Andre Miller and, and Sam Cassell operating in the pick and roll. Not only that, Kevin, to, to strengthen his left hand, he'd use it for daily activities like writing, leaving no stone unturned to become an expert initiator. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. And sometimes that's the best policy when you're going up against a big guy. Take it to the 10, right at him, get to the rack. It's good. Aldridge is too strong to let a little bit of contact bother him. I actually think he likes those tough shots. The shot's good from Westbrook. Westbrook's got 10 points in just the second half. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Gay finds Walker. Passes it to Aldridge. No one near him. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Just impress with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Five straight baskets, Greg, resulting from assists. They're playing as one unit out there. 
But, you know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but maybe they wanted him to take that shot, baited him into it. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. You got to stay physical and stay aggressive if you're Rudy Gay. Force the defense to make some mistakes. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Rockets. I thought we might see the defense adjust at halftime to slow the break, but that has not been the case. They've worked hard tonight at crashing the boards as well. They've had a bunch of second chance points. Timeout called the Rockets. A quick rundown of the leading free throw shooters at small forward this year. It's a pretty sure thing whenever one of them gets to the line. The fourth spot held by DeMar DeRozan. And knowing what I do about the guys on that list, I can tell you they put a lot of long hours in the gym to get those percentages to where they are. Well, you can't get those numbers without the work. And they've posted impressive numbers. And all of them are naturally gifted shooters. But you have to add to natural ability the work required to bring it to fruition. And he's good on the second. And it's Carroll with the ball for the Rockets. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points and finished off by Westbrook. And how about just floating to the rim on that slam? Boy, when he gets up, I mean, he gets up. Yes, he does. That's what we call helium. Yeast rising and helium floating. Murray, the pass to Aldridge. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. And that's now 18 points for Aldridge. Watch out now when Aldridge gets into a rhythm. He's fantastic at staying aggressive and getting to his spots. Well, he's filling it up right now, getting the shots he wants and delivering in a big way. Spurs trail by 18. Here's Murray. Passes it to Gay. Count it. Gay's got 18 points. You know what? When he's got the chance to get inside, Gay's going to take it, fellas. I mean, he doesn't waste those opportunities. Westbrook drives in, and he banks in the layup. And the Rockets lead by 18. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. Murray with the bounce pass. Kicks it out to Gay. Shoots over Covington. Carroll with the rebound. Carroll's got six rebounds here tonight. Left side Covington. Near the three-point line, it's Gordon. And it's Houston with another. Good quickness on the catch and shoot. Gordon giving the defense no time to react off the pass. Outside DeRozan. Tries a three. It's rebounded by Houston. Yeah, you know, they're losing in large part because he's, he's not playing well. It's really as simple as that. Here's Westbrook. Another bucket. Wow. That gives him 51. Making it look easy. Outside DeRozan. Good D by Covington. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. And it's sent back by Aldridge. He's not an easy guy to get a shot up and over. Aldridge has those long arms and his timing's good too. And, and that's got to happen if they want to have a chance to turn this thing around. I mean, he needs to just take the game over. I mean, it seems like he's been hesitant to pull the trigger. Covington shot is off. Spurs trail by 20. 
from deep. Walker. Carroll with the rebound. Carroll's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Westbrook and the dunk by Westbrook. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Here's DeRozan. And that's going to be a treble. And a moment here to check out the numbers for James Harden. Averaging 34 points, 7 assists, and 6 rebounds. It's hard to wrap your head around numbers like these, but that is just what he delivers night in and night out. You know, it's so easy for us to take him for granted, to get spoiled with what he does. I think we've got to be more appreciative of the kind of impact this man has in every game he plays. White, he's checked in for San Antonio. And then for Houston, Jeff Green. He's checked in for Robert Covington. Ben McLemore comes in for James Harden. And it's Austin Rivers in for Russell Westbrook. Shots good by McLemore. Boy, you can see the connection these guys have. They ran the play well. The defense had no idea how to deal with it. Down low. Gay, that's good. Gay's got 20. Yeah, it's important for Gay to be able to finish in traffic. I mean, he's so much better when he shows some physicality and toughness. Gordon laid in with a nice touch off the glass. San Antonio's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Pass to Walker. Fires the three. Offensive rebound, Spurs. And that one is good. Gay's got seven now in this quarter. Boy, good instincts and timing on display there from Gay. Excellent anticipation. Here's McLemore. Again, the Rockets score. And how about the performance we're seeing from him? Not one miss on the day. And uh, San Antonio shooting is beautiful right now. 60% for the game. Pretty much everyone out there has been stroking it. Aldridge, good. 20 points for him. No misses for him yet in this quarter. Solid as a rock. Houston leading by 22. Here's Gordon. Rebounded by the Spurs. Gay's got his sixth rebound on the night. Outside, Walker. Gay outside. Walker with it. And it's Gordon picking him up. Yep, it counts. And that's 10 points for Walker. And so it's Rivers with it. He'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. And Gordon has a fast release. Got to be up on him at all times. I mean, he's excellent shooting off the dribble. Outside, Walker. A three ball. No good that time. And the Rockets take it the other way. He had six points from long range in the first half, but nothing's fallen here since. Good on the bucket. 15 points for Ben McLemore. And he can take over in a nanosecond. I mean, once he catches fire, it's difficult to squelch it. Outside, Walker. White against Rivers. Fires for three. Carroll with the rebound. The Rockets shooting an almost unfair 78% from the field. And the basket by Gordon. Like how Gordon stays low to the ground, keeps that center of gravity anchored. Quick driving inside, and excellent. Oh! Man. oh! He's putting on a show for these fans. I can't believe he pulled that one out in the course of an actual game. Well, when you know it, you got to show it. And pro move there. Finds a way to gain some separation against the much taller defender. You know, your assumption would be that he'd be at a big disadvantage in that matchup, but you'd be assuming wrong. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. And even under pressure in close, I think they've still done a good job maintaining concentration and converting the opportunities. Over in the corner, White. And it's off from three-point range. From deep, McLemore. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. Russell Westbrook has been leading the charge for Houston. With the points he racked up that quarter, he has broken his season high scoring mark already. And we'll be right back after this. Sleeping through 
And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Rockets on offense. They've got Bellinelli. Trey Lyles out there with Jakob Pertl. Then there's Derek White, and it's Forbes in at the two spot. That's the San Antonio Five. The creativity of an artist, that's what Harden has. An excellent decision maker, too. Comfortable at pulling from right here. White. The Rockets pull it in. Tucker's got seven rebounds in the game. Here's House. He dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. And, you know, when you get a clean look at the rim, Harden usually will find you. I think he's underrated and undervalued at making his teammates better. White the pass to Pirtle. Dishes it to Forbes. There's the pass to Bellinelli. Here's Lyles. Rebounded by Tucker. Tucker's got rebound number eight now on the night. Here's McLemore. The shot misses. Now San Antonio takes it the other way. And Bellinelli kicks to White. Out left to the wing. Here's Forbes. Hands it from downtown. Forbes has got nine points now in just the second half. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. One of his favorite moves right there, guys. Does it as well as anybody, fellas. Tremendous skill while in the air. And it's White missing. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Shots good by McLemore. The Spurs have gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. White the pass to Lyles. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. A good look there, and he didn't waste it. His second three of the game. 18 feet out. Tucker can't get it to go. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you could see the frustration on his face. Well, Clark, underrated athleticism for Derek White. For a 6'4 guard, he can finish above the rim. And not only that, guys, but he also blocks shots. I mean, coming out of college, he and number one pick Markel Folk, the only players in the Pac-12 that rank top 10 in scoring, assists, and blocks. That's a uh, heck of a triple. And that one falls for White. Derek White played his first three years at Division III UC Colorado Springs. This guy ended up being the 29th pick in the 2017 draft out of Colorado. In his lone season with the Buffaloes, he was all Pac-12 first team and all defense. Looking at who's out there now for the Spurs. Medu, he's checked in for Lyles. And it's Mills in for Bryn Forbes. So one for two that time at the stripe. And coming out of high school, White's only scholarship offer was a partial one to Colorado Springs. And you know what, guys? Sometimes rejection like that can actually fuel you to greater heights. It put a chip on his shoulder. He plays with an edge. He improved, transferred to the Pac-12 for his senior season, and really the rest is history. He's got a promising future as an NBA player in front of him. Back to Mills. Inside, here's Pirtle, and the dunk by Pirtle. Oh, fellas, that was a vicious two-hand monster slam. Guys, I don't think there was anyone who could have stopped him on that one. Well, guys, I'm glad they didn't try because I don't want anybody to get hurt out there. Mills dishes to Pirtle. It's stolen. Here's Caboclo. Here's Harden. Plays it up and banks it in. Harden's got 12 points here in the second half. 
And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. The three for Mills. Can't hit that one. And the Rockets take it the other way. Here's Caboclo. He trains the quick shot. Now Mills to the middle. And Chandler sends it back. And how about the basketball IQ of Chandler? Just knows exactly when to sky and commit to blocking shots. Harden left side. And Pirtle sends it back. Now here's Mills. He's guarded by Chandler. Chandler with the block. And even three on three break. And Harden gets it to go in on the assist by House. And that's now 37 points for James Harden. And so it's Mills who will bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. Kicks it to Bellinelli. Pass to Mills. But for a while now, you and I were just talking. We've had a rule that a team cannot go without a first-round pick in consecutive years. Could it be time to lift that restriction? I certainly wouldn't mind discussing lifting the restriction, but I like it as it is on the books because it does lend itself, I think, to competitive balance. And that's important in the strength of a league. Now a timeout called by Houston. Uh, adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Johnson, he's checked in for White. Houston also making some changes. Tabo Cephalosha has checked in for Daniel House. And it's Russell Westbrook in for James Harden. Westbrook, another miss by Houston. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I, I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. San Antonio's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Johnson, the pass to Perto. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his first personal foul. Do you think it helps the pace of the game with the NBA recently modifying the shot clock rule that after an offensive rebound, it doesn't go back to 24. It goes now to the new number, 14 seconds. Well, I really like the rule because you don't have to bring the ball over the half court line, which is eight seconds. So it makes sense. And it does speed up the game, in my opinion. The free throw drops for Pirtle. Boy, Pirtle is a massive guy. Somebody that uses his height exceptionally well to get high-quality looks. Second free throw, no good. They're not doing themselves any favors with their free throw shooting this half. Shots good by McLemore. Assist goes to Bruno Cabo. Mills with it. Pass to Medu. And here is Johnson, covered by Cephalosha. And there it is for him. Johnson! And for Houston, their shooting has been wild. 76%. That's just unbelievable. Timeout time called time the Rockets.
here's Chandler. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. San Antonio's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Here's Mills. Great D that time from Westbrook. And here's Houston. They're on a 16 to seven run. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, everybody's touching it, and you're starting to see the assists pile up because the rhythm is on display offensively. Here's Mills. Offensive rebound. That's tipped. So hard, actually impossible to cut into the lead when you have a guy struggling this badly. Basket counts. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense, Greg, has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. A floater, and he sinks the layup. You know, at just under six feet tall, you've got to develop a lot of ways to get your shot off, and Mills has a nice handle on the floater. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Cephalosha's got his first two points of the night. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last 10 points have all come off assist. You always hear about chemistry. That's a perfect example, knowing where each other is at all times. And Westbrook gets it to go. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on them. Now, here's Mills. He's guarded closely to the paint. Here's Medu. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And he might be small for a center, but boy, can he jump out of the building. Such a wide open look. Westbrook's got 57 points. And Westbrook is a terror from the mid range. Terrific at sticking it to the defense from that spot on the floor. Pass to Medu. Cephalosha against Bellinelli. Inside. Shots good by Mills. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. And how? I mean, they're taking this defense to task, taking them to school. Every one of their last 10 points have come in the paint. McLemore, no good. That's one he knows he should have drained. Johnson against Westbrook. Elbow shot is on the way. Johnson can't hit. And here's Chandler who brings it up for the Houston Rockets. Here's McLemore. And that one off the back of the rim and in. McLemore's got eight points in the quarter. I love the attitude of Westbrook. Continues to improve at running the offense and finding ways to create opportunities for his teammates. And for Houston, their shooting has been wild. 76%. That's just unbelievable. He gets it in there. And obviously, his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know, that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Bellinelli with the three. It's rebounded by Houston. Chandler's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Marco Bellinelli. That's his first foul. Clark, last season, we saw more of the global game series from the NBA. A couple games in Mexico, one in England. It's nice to see. Yeah, it really is because I actually, six years ago, had a chance to be with the Pacers in the global games in ah. uh, the Philippines and then uh, Taipei, Taiwan with the Rockets. Great experience for the players and the organizations. Um, it's an additional level of travel, no doubt. About a week to 10 days where you're in another country. But it's great for the game, and it's great for the fans in those countries. And really a good job spotting his teammate near the bucket and then just pinpoint passing for the finish. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there, but he was open enough to where he should have hit that shot. A shot by Johnson, no good. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. 
Textbook, nice pass, great catch, even better finish. They double him with Rivers. Now here's Bellinelli, tight defense on him. Aldridge misses. And so it's Houston with it. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Rockets. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And this will make it 41 victories for them on the year. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Russell Westbrook. He was doing everything right, and the points came in bunches. Definitely had the hot hand. Well, you look at Mills and the kind of passer he is now setting up his teammates, indicative of the kind of work he put into his passing game. And so now a timeout taken by Mike D'Antoni. The 55th pick back in 2009. Those picks don't hit very often, but... Greg Patty Mills, now with a decade in the NBA. Six foot nothing. And that may be generous. The Australian Mills, a dangerous pull-up shooter, and he does not back down. the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Russell Westbrook. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. And this is exactly what a star player is supposed to do. Coming off a loss, he made sure they weren't going to make it two in a row. There's 49 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Chandler, no good. So it's the Spurs now. Now here's Mills. The pass to Bellinelli. And the three ball is good. Well, and this has been their strategy throughout the fourth period. We'll see how it pans out. You know what? Teams can get a little three happy down the stretch sometimes. Letting it fly. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Boy, a fantastic performance. And I tell you something, I mean, you get roadkill, that's always a challenge in the NBA, no matter what. And they got it done. On the free throw, no good. And it's Mills with the ball for San Antonio. There's a four second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. To the middle. It's rebounded by Houston. Here's Caboclo. So we see the Rockets taking the win here. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about Greg, but they never got it. And they sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, James. Congrats on the win. What's your team's mindset right now in terms of approach? 
uh, our consistency and our attention to detail. You know, we're a young team, but we got to focus on the small things. You know, our, our, our hard work is, uh, is going to be enough as well. Great effort tonight, James. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.